Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. The world is a mess. And why is that? Because it's made up of people. When you look at nature, or more accurately, when you look at creation, you see beauty. From the spiral galaxies, to the spiral helix of the DNA protein molecule, we see design and beauty. From the majestic peaks of the Rocky Mountains, to the giant redwood trees, we see beauty. From the transformation of worm to butterfly, to the magnificent blue whales, we see beauty. But when we see people, beauty becomes much more scarce. When I look into the eyes of a newborn, I can still see beauty. When that newborn becomes a teenager, that innocence begins to fade into jaded skepticism. If that newborn grows up, and in a lust for power, becomes a politician, I no longer see beauty. What I see in those eyes is greed, a desire for dominance and control. Their transparent sincerity, becomes obfuscation. Webster's Dictionary defines the word obfuscation as, the action of making something obscure, unclear, or unintelligible. Another source defines the word as, the obscuring of an intended meaning, by making the message difficult to understand, usually with confusing and ambiguous language. There's no better example of that, than right now in the political menagerie of Washington. The swamp has become a cesspool of misinformation and outright deception. On one side you have the Republicans, insisting that their opponent achieved their goals by corruption and fraud. On the other side, you have the Democrats, accusing their opponent of sedition. But, rather than investigating the claims of both sides, they muddy the potentially clear waters, by employing the tactic of obfuscation. The best thing both parties could do is simply open all doors of transparency, to find the truth. That's all we want. What do they have to hide? As Americans, we are supposed to live in a free society, where truth and justice prevail. But all we are seeing right now is censorship and posturing. The billionaires of big tech are lining up against the common man. It's Wall Street, against Main Street. Sadly, there is violence on both sides. But the culprits of violence are being treated differently. Many violent criminals are roaming the streets of Seattle, unabated. Whereas the Capitol rally thugs, are being hunted down like ex-Nazis. Congress has erected a fence around the Capitol and surrounded it with the National Guard. They call it, the new normal. It would seem that they are afraid that someone may actually find out what they've been up to. Or perhaps, it's for what they are getting ready to do. And to make it seem even more suspicious, the troops are being vetted. No patriotic constitutionalists allowed. The whole thing is sounding more Orwellian by the minute. I don't care if you are conservative or liberal, it is pretty obvious that our freedoms are at stake, and are being whittled away, with each and every new law and executive order. We don't need to resort to violence, but we must stand up to the tyranny of big government and big tech. These organizations are supposed to serve the people. Right now, it's the other way around. They view us as their slaves. In their mind, we are here to do their bidding. They've given you a number, and taken away your name. So mobilize a patriotic grassroots movement, to take back our country. Pray hard and vote. Vote at the polls, and vote with your pocketbook. Let those who seek to dominate know that you will not submit. Peacefully assemble an army of pacifists. Peacefully protest the obstruction of justice, and the confiscation of your unalienable rights. I suggest that you do something now, before it's too late. Waiting until you have the time, will be disastrous. Two years from now, you may not have a country. Peace be unto you and your house. You're never too old or too young, to make a difference.